Yo, YouTube, March 17th, Brooklyn, New York. First time I'm going to be teaching my own class in Brooklyn, New York. Get your tickets today at tomb45academy.com slash events. The tickets are on sale right now. You do not want to miss this class. Go get your tickets now. All right, what are we doing today, bro? Do like a three, uh, tip fade. Okay. Keep the C cups. Okay. Keep the beard as wide as you can. Okay. Go with the grain. All right, that's a bet. Hey, right, man. Hey, y'all listen, man. We about to do this class. The beam about to do this haircut. I got to do this whole class by myself. This haircut better turn out. I already know it's going to, but it better turn out because I'm about to teach this by myself, man. Yo, YouTube, what's going on, man? We got a banger on my dog, Devin, man. My dog grew his head three years just for a transformation. Like, this is crazy. Like, this three years in the making. So, I want to go in completely open, you know, and I want to use a four guard. And I want to basically take it down with a four because he said he want to go with a three with the grain. But I know for me specifically, just for aesthetics and you know how the video gonna look, I wanna be able to mow this joint down, you know, just with the clippers first. So as you guys can tell, like this is crazy, man. My dog letting all of this nice hair go, bro. It's tough. And as you guys can see though, my client is cool, calm, collective. This is one of my dogs that I met through YouTube. We wound up linking up real cigar connoisseur, you know, just a guy who's been able to, you know, keep me up and educate me on the cigar game, you know, and things of that nature. So this is my dog, man. This is my dog. So we watched his hair, but I skipped that whole part out the video. I think it was just gonna take up too much of the video. So as you guys can see. It's just showing me dry the hair off. I'm just brushing everything forward so I could go and decide to cut the hair with the grain as the client decided. Going with the number three guard now, you know, with the grain. And I just basically want to pass through this hair, going through the hair as clean as possible, getting everything right. So as you guys can see, it's clean, man. Slowly but surely, moving our way through the hair. But at the same time, we being very careful. This client has an amazing grade of hair. And um, I don't want to nick him and things of that nature, but I'm also watching out for all of the weak points throughout the haircut. So right here, I'm starting to see a weak point, even though you guys probably can't. If you look in the vertical bar area, the vertical bar area is just naturally thinner than all the other parts of the hair. As you guys can tell right here, I'm just slightly just, you know, passing through this area. I don't want to take too much off because I, I, I don't know what actual line sits until I go in. So uh, I wanted to go in. With a number two guard now completely open and i just basically want to debulk this side area prepping myself for the taper now i want to go in using my trimmers and using my trimmers to hit towards the top of the ear area but just doing a nice clean circular motion uh just trying to get get this ball taper in at least giving myself about a whole inch and now going completely open using the babeless, you know, FXs. So I'm not using nothing basically on my station besides my trimmers. Um, this was actually at a class that we did in, I don't know if it was Maryland. That's what it was. It was Maryland. So we did this. I did this in Maryland like eight, nine months ago. But um, y'all know videos be on schedule and I be just doing my own thing. So. But this is old. So now I want to go in completely closed using the number two guard to debulk that area. Now I want to go in using the number one guard completely open, drop them halfway. And I'm just playing in between my lever and bringing everything together slowly but surely starting to debulk this area, starting to feather this area out, but also at the same time starting to get some transition in this type of area. So like when it comes to this, I'm always brushing when I'm always fading, when I'm always locked in, I'm always focused on the next, the next objective. And now same thing. 116 guard completely closed and I just want to bounce around in this corner area slightly but surely because I'm trying to create this transition without pushing too much into that dark area of his hair just taking my time and as you guys can see 
brush one fade one stay consistent through and through i took the guard off now i'm completely open because when that guard is closing you're not cutting no hairs you have to take it off but open the clipper all the way up because that's your next lowest step now completely close i want to start to debulk this area but really create that transition towards where that guideline was set at from the beginning and as you guys can see slowly but surely just bouncing on a couple like the three to four edges of the teeth uh bouncing those off of the client's head just not really digging into his hair but i'm basically like i said i'm trying to feather i'm trying to get a nice transition i'm just taking my time and just allowing and letting things come together naturally clean same steps with the back neck neck taper i want to go up at least a half of an inch i don't want to go up too high uh my client doesn't have a lot of nape area so i want to go up too high and now co completely open with a one and a half guard this is my next guard right here and i'm gonna get myself at least of an inch i want to get some color i want to get some consistency and i'm gonna get some through and through on this as you guys can tell that's fire that's fire we about to start transitioning this joint now with a number two guard right after the one and a half guard your guard system always gonna line up so remember just take your time pay attention to your guard systems and then it's gonna flow within your haircut sometimes you can't see the hairs being cut but you gotta trust the number system and by that you know the number two guard is definitely a bigger guard than the number one and a half so just trust it because the numbers won't lie to you throughout the whole system in terms of a haircut even when you can't see it trust the number system and as you guys can see i'm just slowly but surely debulking not trying to do no crazy hard work but i'm just trying to feather it out i want it to look good so you know i'm taking my time i'm you know trying to be as professional as possible trying to understand it you know and this was so dope of a haircut experience not only because my boy grew his hair three years just for this but you see the guys across from me like that's one of the students in the hands-on part portion of the class who we were teaching haircuts so i'm literally in the middle of this haircut but at the same time, you know, Sean, JT, Dre, and me still teaching the hands-on. So we already taught the theory part of the class, but we walking around, you know, basically on the floor through the shop, helping people throughout the haircut. So a lot of times in this haircut, I'm pausing it, and, you know, I'm helping three or four different other people who are actually having hands-on with their clients. It's just, you know, um, my boy Devin is from Maryland, so this was the only shot we had. You know, I don't ever cut nobody hair in a hands-on class while I got students on the floor. But it was an exception for this one because we was growing this for three years and this was the first shot that we had. So, you know, that's that that's it. But as you guys can see, I'm still going ahead. I'm taking I'm taking everything down. I'm using that one and a half guard and everything is coming together. And man, as you guys can see, no pressure, nothing at all. It's just coming together. I want to give a big, 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 big shout out to everybody that's copping their tickets for the New York Brooklyn show. Like, it's not even a show. It's a class, actually. I'm coming to teach a dope class. I'm coming to do it by myself. So that's one thing that's going to be super dope. If you in the New York Brooklyn area, those tickets is on sale right now. Go to tomb45.com, hit the events tab, and just check me out, man. Go ahead, get a ticket, pull up, come shake hands, come take pictures, come kick it, come vibe, come get educated. You know, that's what it's about when you come to my classes the dopest part about my classes is that you know you gonna walk away with gems because it's bigger than just what you see on youtube i'm teaching levels of stuff that i will never teach on youtube because it's a part of my educational courses i have to give different value than what i do on youtube so please if you around march 17th tomb45.com hit that tomb 40 tab that tomb 45 tab once you go to tomb45.com and uh hit the events tab the tickets is literally right there all of our tickets and upcoming events are arranged in order and even better i'm just gonna leave the tomb 45 uh academy tickets tab in the description so if you want a ticket to that new york brooklyn class all of my new yorkers who always get in my comment section hey come to new york come to new york come pull up then pull up let's have fun let's have a dope let's have a dope time so you know i can't wait to see you guys in new york i think this is gonna be one of my special classes like like i said i'm doing it by myself so when it's by myself i come and bring even extra value because i'm not sharing time with other educators so please lock in with me please copy your tickets tune45.com click the events tab and go ahead cop a ticket they on sale 
so now I'm gonna go in by just using some spritz as you guys can see we knocked out both sides we knocked out the back area we just want to use some spritz I need to see what's going on I'm seeing you know a couple weak spots throughout this haircut I'm trying to figure out how I want to capitalize you know throughout these uh, parts of the hair so now I'm gonna go over with my clippers completely closed and I want to trim over the top part of the hair I'm acting as if this client has waves because I want to knock all these fuzzy hairs off when knocking these fuzzy hairs off you bringing everything of the haircut forward as you guys can see everything coming forward every mistake or every like thing that don't look right is popping out because you laying everything down Big shout out to my dog, Jaren Boomer, for this beat, bro. This one of the hardest beats that ever hit this channel. It's my dog, Bevin. This one of his favorite beats, so I had to use it for the uh, for the video. But as you guys can see, man, like, look at the vertical bar area. But let's go in using the trimmer. I just want to hit the vertical area, which is basically a slanted part using the majority of the whole blade there. And then when I flip the ear down, I shift into the corner of the blade and just use the corner of the blade to work myself all the way around the corner staying consistent staying locked in and through and through we working like we working we working we locked in and we bringing it together and this is what it's about if you can if you can get it here this is what it's about man like this is what it's about so this was just super dope to me same thing back of the beer area i just want to hit the back of the beer area because y'all know me i'm doing frame at work i'm keeping everything consistent but i'm bringing everything or bring bringing everything in in like a tighter realm but also i allowing my client to still achieve the fullness of the beard that he wanted from the beginning but I still want the taper to smash it and cut through it you get what I mean and when you're doing these haircuts I understand and know that my steps are not the best steps this is just how I do my work if you choose to cut it like me then you know kudos if you choose not to then kudos you get what I mean I can't be mad at you for that but as you guys see me hitting the nape area clippers are smacking we got everything locked in as you guys can see that taper really popping out and it's doing its thing man so as you guys look at my guys in the background putting their hands on together walking walking these uh students down and putting them in you know putting them in that realm and in that box with us you know it's special to get them one-on-one -on -one courses of them hands on because you learn stuff we can't teach you on youtube so as you guys see right here i go in doing my vertical bars and i'm being very light because look how light the vertical bars is i tried to tell you guys this before and what i was trying to tell you guys is it's naturally light there my client isn't losing his hair at all but he just got thinner areas on the vertical bar part like being in the ponytail or being in braids was pulling that hair backwards as you guys could see you know so like you start off at a disadvantage but it's how you finesse it it's how you put it together it's how you see it it's how it's like it's, it's it's literally it's what you seeing that the others can't see and i'm doing things that you guys can't see and i'm acting as if this client has a full head of hair because the, my steps don't change no matter the role the reason the steps don't change is because the system has never failed me. If you want to learn these techniques, tune45.com. Hit that events tab and come to that New York class. But I can show you guys how to build the system and trust the system no matter what. And as you guys can see, look how clean the haircut is just looking in a natural phase. We putting it together. It's coming together. It's beautiful. And we stand, we stand natural in this course because we got to make sure everything that's under uh, all of our enhancements or adjustments that we make throughout this haircut is solidified taking my time not pressing i'm literally you know just letting the clippers rock i'm letting them rock out letting them do their thing and that's what you do when you get sharp trimmers so that's that beam team coilless compressor xl you know assisting it with the color no drip and you guys can get that on tune 45 as well if you go there and just click the shop tab use the promo code beam if you want 15 percent off all of your orders slowly but surely and i'm using the uh clutch card and i'm working myself around the corner hitting the front of the lineup i'm in my bag and i'm not even in my i'm not in my own shop i wasn't using majority of my own tools but i'm in my bag at the same time you know i'm focused i'm locked in i'm trying to get bro a look that he never had before and like i said bro grew his head for three years i got a step i got a step so you know i'm just trying to make sure that this haircut could come out really good i'm trying to give it some sauce trying to give it some flavor trying to give it some pop trying to give it some fluff 
y'all can't lie, this Alexander O'Neill joint jamming. This this a fire one. So now I wanna go in using my new pencil to my precision pack pencil by Tone 45, which can be found on the site as well. Using the new side, I'm basically concealing the lining, giving it that pop flare and flash I was just recently talking about. It's just doing nothing but adding add-ons and you know concealing the lineup, giving the lineup that pop like how it happens when a woman does her eyebrows. I'm just understanding, know that I'm switching over and using things that I see in other industries and applying it in mine because it's 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 how you get different different looks is how you elevate your looks is how when you take these pictures on Instagram you can knock the whole thing out you changing the perception of what your client talking about so if my client is leaning back raise the angle at a 45 degree angle bringing everything back to the highest point of the beard and we working out we putting them we, we putting them now as y'all see we putting them now I'm locked in I'm focused this way it's going it's beautiful beautiful Taking my time, staying solid, and it's coming together. Also, people that are in Tampa, Florida, I decided to switch it up now. I did free haircuts last year. It's around that same time. I want to do more free haircuts. If you would like a free haircut, I'm doing only transformations and uh yeah, I'm doing only transformations of people who like been really woofing super hard. If you want a free haircut, I'm dropping my email below. I do one or two free haircuts a week, and those free haircuts are literally traded out for content. So if you want to be one of those people, please be woofing or please have a crazy transformation because those are the things that get the highest responses, the most engagement rate. And you know, those are the ones that. A lot of upcoming barbers can't see through and through. So if you got either one of those, email was below. Uh, and it'll be in the description for you to email me to, you know, send pictures. And for those who, who need to send an email, just send an email. Send how your hair look in the current state now. And send a reference picture of how you want your hair cut. And as you guys see, man, look at this, bro. Like, putting it together. It is unfortunate that we get clients that wait three years to get haircuts like this, but as barbers, it's up to us to change the outcome. Without further ado, let's lock in. Let's get it. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag glass. Hashtag glacier. Y'all know what time it is, man. We focus. I just ice my boy for y'all. If y'all new to the channel, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. And may God bless. Crazy change. Right. As you try to take this out, like what you can do, just come here on this front line. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 Go through what you don't like. It's crazy. Alright, YouTube, as y'all can see. How long is that, bro? When do we start this? Three years. Three years. This is a long three years. If y'all like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, hit the notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. And I'm out of here. Put the hair on the floor. Put the hair on the floor. That's what I'm doing here. I'm going to open one.